Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius from Winter Laboratory with your lab secret tip of the day. Today we got a tweet from Ross Grant who asked us, how can I make the body of my social ghost site wider? He's got a great uh, site here at sharespeak.com that's for business investors and he needed to make a little more room for his content. So let me show you how we can go from this to this. Now, I'm not advocating this is the perfect size or layout, but I'm going to show you how exactly to do the CSS so that you end up with this result. It's really quite simple. Let me switch over to one of our primary tools on the Lab Secrets tutorial, that's Snippler, and I'm going to show you the CSS that's involved here. It's really just three elements which I'm going to go over. You need to modify the width of the main wrapper container, then the main body container, and then lastly, zone 12, which is where the main content. I made them a little wider than standard, but let me walk you through each step of the way. Let's go to the standard site here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm also going to raise this up so that you can see my copy of our other primary tool, which is Firebug. Firebug is running on the Firefox browser, cross-platform compatible. Okay, got to drag that down a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And I, hopefully you can see the code here on the right. Remember, one of the things that we do here is we use the Firebug tool in order to identify what we need to modify. In this case, we want to move the right-hand side of this page over to the right, giving it a little wider berth. Remember, if you have your sidebar A located on the right-hand side, the concept is going to be the same, but you're going to have to make a slightly different change to the CSS. We're going to cover that in a separate tutorial. So for right now, I'm going to first right click on the main body, inspecting the element, and that'll allow me to highlight the areas that I'm looking for. And as I go to the left here, I can roll over with my mouse and it'll highlight the sections in blue that I'm looking for. First one I'm going to start with is the wrapper container. When I click on it here, I see that encompasses basically the whole content of the site. It's the outer wrapper. Think of it like the outside candy wrapper of your favorite candy. Right now, that's set for 985. I'm going to make that a little larger. I'm going to go up to 1100 pixels. Now, what's interesting is when I do that, you can't see anything happening, but you did see that shift. Now, when that shift occurred, that's because this page is set up so that the content is what they call liquid. As I move my browser and make it wider, the content stays centered. If I make the browser narrower, it stays centered. So effectively, what was happening is when I made the container wrapper wider, there's some invisible space here to the right that you can't see until I hover my mouse over there. See it? See it on the right side, that space? Okay. Now let's go to the next element I'm going to change. That's going to be the body container. Move my mouse here to the body container and it looks like it's the same area as the uh, wrapper container except when I highlight that I've, as I said before, made the body container and wrapper container different. Wrapper container's big, body container has to be made big. So I click on it. Right now it's at 975. I'm going to set that to 1100 as well. 100 won't work. Let's try 1100. There we go. Now, last but not least, you see here that we've got the actual content, the, the meat and potatoes, if you will, of the site. Uh, we got to make that bigger to take advantage of the new space we've created. So let's go ahead and do that. That's a little hidden area called Zone 12. And we'll find that inside of the container. We're going to have to scroll around for it. Sometimes even I forget where it's located. There it is. Okay, it's under the divide ID main content inside of that container, and it's dot 12. It's class 12. Right now it's set for 770. Let's try something a little more generous, like 890. I think that should work out. Look at that. Let me close Firebug. And now we've got a site that's, you know, a little wider than it was before could be attractive for this customer, but for you, it gives you the power with these three small little attribute changes to make your site on social go wider. I'm going to post the CSS inside the show notes so that it's available to you at labsecrets.com.